everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you my November favorites so what I've been loving in November of 2013 um, little warning though um, I'm not really into makeup so you won't be seeing my, many beauty favorites um, these are really random favorites and I'm going to divide them into three categories food fashion <laughs> and miscellaneous okay let's get started first of all let's go with food in the category food um first up is something quite odd I say um it's a tin of soup now I'm normally not a very big soup eater like I hardly ever finish my bowl of soup because I just meh, it's just not my bowl of soup <laughs> um, but I was in Tesco last week and I need to get something to eat on Monday that was quick and easy and I saw a misplaced can of tomato soup and I thought you know what the chicken noodle soup was alright which I hadn't finished so I'll just try the tomato soup then and I took it with me, paid for it tried it on Monday and I was very pleasantly surprised it is so good I actually finished my bowl of soup and I've already had it again and I'm actually going to eat it now as well <laughs> so I'll just finish this and I'll be right back that soup was good. Next up in the category of food is this, which is the Witcher Luxury White Hot Chocolate. And as the name implies, it's quite luxurious and therefore also quite expensive. But this was a gift from my mum. Um, I actually got it at the beginning of the summer, but I kept it until I moved to uni before trying it. So I could have some nice luxurious stuff at uni as well and basically it's a powder that you mix with uh, hot milk and then it becomes really 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 delicious white hot chocolate <sighs> that smells good I've tried several white hot chocolates before but this is definitely the best I've ever had it's just oh so good. I love it. Why are you so expensive? My last thing in the department of food is something that I discovered since arriving here in Britain and it is absolutely amazing. Peanut butter Kit Kat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've already been a fan of the peanut butter M&Ms. Um, for quite a while because you know chocolate peanut butter great combination but unfortunately they only sell the peanut butter M&Ms for a decent price in the States and I'm not going to the States anytime soon so when I discovered this at my local shop I was thrilled so I tried it it tasted delicious and I have repurchased it a little bit too often since then. <laughs> uh, you can actually get the, these at Tesco's currently uh, 3 for 120 and they're 65p per piece so you actually save money! Woo! If you like peanut butter you should definitely try these because they're just delicious and nobody, nobody should be deprived of this. Next up is fashion. I only have two pieces for this category, but I love them and I left them throughout the last month. So first of all, this pair of big boys. Uh, these are my Uggs. They're the tallest version and they're grey. I got these three years ago I think 
and um, on the inside they're still like really nice quality but unfortunately on the outside it has a bit of discoloration and this has been sagging a bit but since it has been but since it's been November like a switch has flipped and it has gotten much colder here in England so I've been wearing these a lot and they're still really nice and soft and warm on the inside and I love them there my other fashiony item is uh, something I actually showed in my haul that I did last week which I will link down below and um, it's my Newcastle University jumper and it is just so soft and comfortable and I love it and I'll, even though I've only had it for a week I know it's going to be my new love for forever <laughs> we were meant to be lastly there is miscellaneous um, first of all this cup um, which you can take with you but I wouldn't actually take it with me because it's like ceramic and I use this to drink my hot chocolate in because um, you take the rubber lid off and then pour it in and then you can put the rubber lid on and you can drink it and it keeps it warm it's really nice and this particular one is by a Dutch brand called Blonde and it looks a little something like this and it says nice cup of coffee but I don't use it for my coffee so anyway next up is bio oil which may s seem a bit weird but I have some stretch marks and they used to be um, quite dark and I think I've been using this since the beginning of October or the beginning of November I'm not quite sure and it says to use it for at least three months but I can already tell that my stretch marks have gotten much lighter in colour so I'm very pleased with that and I will continue to use this and see what happens my next item is something beauty related and it is um, the sleek eye divine storm palette and it looks a little bit like this woo and before the mirror like the real beauty gurus do uh, as you can see it has some nice neutral colours and three of them are matte and the rest are shimmery and I really like the colours except I can't wear them I can't really wear them right now because I have discovered my eyelids are quite oily and I haven't found a good primer yet so unfortunately these will have to wait but um, from what I've tested and looked at um, I really like this palette I think it's really pretty my last is it my last yeah this is my last item and it is my iPod. Now I've had uh, it's an iPod Classic, and it can fit 120 gigabyte on it. And I've had it for four and a half years, which is quite long. <laughs> it still works perfectly, and um, you know I go a bit through phases. And this month I've been using it quite a bit more again like to listen to music when I'm in bed and my flatmates are having pre-drinks that I don't bother to join or what I've also been doing is um, I walk a lot now so when I walk I plug my earphones in does that sound weird? Huh. well anyway I put my earphones in and then I watch a film on my iPod which is a nice way to walk and then for music that I've been listening to there is three that I've been really liking this month uh, one of them is a Dutch band called Bluff I actually did a blog post about them and my favorite songs of theirs so I will link that down below as well and um, 
The other musician I've been liking is Landon Austin, who is mainly a YouTuber musician, I think. Like, he hasn't been signed, but his songs are really good. And my favourite uh, songs by him are Where We Used To Run, Ready For Anything, and Once In A Lifetime. Because they're just sweet and mellow and right up my alley. And then the last band that I've been listening to a lot, more in the last week than the whole month, but I think they're great anyway, is the band Daughtry. And I actually have their two first albums at home, and I really like them. And I didn't miss... Um, I didn't really listen to their previous album, but right now they've released a new album called Baptized and I think their songs are great and I might buy it but in the meanwhile I'll just listen to it on YouTube and I might also get into the uh, album Break the Spell which is their previous album because you know he's a good singer, the band's good what else could you need? that is it for my November favourites I hope you enjoyed it if you did, please let me know by either commenting or clicking on the like button and um, if you want to, you can also subscribe to my channel which would be very much appreciated. If you have any video suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below, like any sort of tags or other videos. Just let me know and I'll try to do them. Um, tomorrow I'll be going to the Christmas market in Leeds and I'll be vlogging that so you can look out for that on my channel I will probably upload it sometime next week and yeah I guess that's it for today I hope you enjoy your evening, day or morning depending on which time zone you're in and I'll see you very soon bye